in a previous blog I spoke about the new browser so we've now got this iLogic browser or we've always had an iLogic browser but traditionally it was sort of um, mounted below our normal browser uh, we can now have it tabbed over there or we can you know stick it on the other side or just keep it as a floating toolbar if we want do pretty much whatever we like with this um, browser but it's quite nice having it in a tab behind our um, modeling browser so one of the enhancements to this uh, new browser is that there's now a minimum width which is quite interesting so with it being with, with it having this minimum width what it means is that if you use forms okay so I've got so we add a form and let's just do something very basic like that form gets added over there and obviously that form is going to be able to expand that button or at least will expand with our browser but now that there's a minimum width it means that we can apply a logo and that that logo will um, always adhere to the minimum width and I'll show you an example so on my global forms you see I've got these two forms here and these are nice buttons that you can push and these are based on this minimum width so if we increase the width of our, um, our browser obviously those buttons get a bit longer and the images don't go all the way but at the moment they sit there quite nicely so what I've what I've discovered through a little bit of experimentation is that um, if you edit a JPEG or a PNG file and you edit the size of that file down to a width of 190 pixels that it adheres to the form quite nicely now the strange thing about forms when you edit the form itself you can't actually get to the image um, and this isn't anything new to inventor it's been there for a while but if you right click and go edit over here you'll see all of the forms that are in that file or even your external forms the same thing um, will come up so you, know, you can now see form one over here so I can then apply an image to form one so if we go and grab um, this image community that we've just been looking at which we know has um, a width of 190 on the um, the image file this will happen and obviously we've still got a, um, a title on there so we can edit this again go to form one and we can choose whether or not the label is show over there and we can turn that off set that to false and we could even include a tooltip so we can say community or help or whatever it would be okay so that goes away so that that looks quite tidy um, and if I mouse over it my tooltip comes up all right so let's have a look at how we can now set form sizes what we can do is we can go and edit the form and you'll see that there are some size limits that are um, specified in the 2018 release so what we can do is we can capture the current width uh, so I can see that the current width is 21 so I might want to make that 22 by say 31.5 something like that and maybe for the maximum I want to keep the height at 31.5 but maybe we'll say the maximum width that you could drag this to will be 25 we'll say okay to that and okay so when I fire up the form you'll see that I can now drag it but I can't drag it any bigger or smaller so you can sort of set up a size this is particularly helpful if you're sharing work with someone else um, and you want to have a very sort of similar experience on different PCs. I hope you find this useful and I hope you enjoy using 2018.